Hey guys, I am Vinesh. Now I am going to show you the review of Aditya ROM B version 2.1. That is the full Galaxy S6, S6 Note 5 and S7 port for Samsung Galaxy Grand 2. And here you can see it is a S6 launcher. Here you can have tips. But one thing is the theme store is not supported by this ROM because this is a full port let me go to settings show you the uh, our device and this is not the default settings because I I replaced this settings from another ROM because this in this ROM Galaxy S6 settings is uh, unfortunately stopped for many times so I did that here you can see the model number and Android version 5.1.1 and here you can see the build number And I replaced this settings because uh, as I told already that settings for, uh, forced close for many times. Here you can see everything working fine. Screen mirroring and everything. And here you can see display is working. And uh, only one thing in this setting that doesn't work is toolbox. Because toolbox is not installed in this room. And it screen is working. But I don't know how to use an edge screen, edge screen. I tried many times to swipe from right or left. Nothing came. I don't know how to use it. Then you can see the notification panel. Here you can add recommended apps to notification drawer. Uh, I have I had another settings so this settings is first closest because that option is uh, not available in this room okay then uh, you can have private mode and here you can have users I added this uh, option to enable it you need to go to to go and edit build.prop file then here you can see the power saving mode and you can have grayscale option also ultra power saving mode also then here comes storage storage this rom uh, fools me in the storage because you can see here 2.9 gb system memory and use space is 2.38 GB I have only I have installed only 8 or 5, 6 applications only but it shows 2.38 GB here it is showing uh, all the applications here you can see the RAM the RAM is 297 MB free and have disabled the motion room app let me show you the pre-installed apps first these are the pre-installed apps and these settings I have replaced then uh, this air command air command is working but it needs root access you need to flash the root.zip to get root access in this room if you press this settings nothing will happen that's a bug and if, if you press smart select that's also nothing will happen if you press screen right that's also first closed only the action will but one, uh, one brother said everything working fine in note 5 room which was in Grand 2 Arabic development group I will install that ROM later now let's remove this air command and here you can see the S note is there and here you can see the music player the music player is S6 
and uh, next is, next thing is the dialer here you can see the s6 dialer and here you can see the contacts and here you can see the planner and i don't have a pre-installed i don't know how bad to download that theme if i have the theme uh, i will definitely install it and it will look like galaxy s7 and here you can see the messages and one thing to remember the main bug of this rom is uh, you can't receive any messages from any number even you can't receive a whatsapp uh, verification code and uh, here you can see the notification panel these are the notification here you can see the notification drawer everything is working and only these apps are i have but it's showing more 2.35 gb used i don't know how facebook is consuming nearly 300 mb in messenger nearly 100 or 150 mb then why it's showing that much then to go to calculator then here you can see the camera is the galaxy s6 x6 port i think you can see the camera is behind to record video because the screen so it's slight slow this is the camera and front camera also okay working working then here you can see the settings and don't the resolution in the front camera because it will, it will force close because uh, it has a 2.1 megapixel but option but mobile supports only 1.9 megapixel then coming to video is the video player of Galaxy S6 here you can see the video here we have a pop-up player also here we have a pop-up player where you can and no multitasking is available in this room it's because of a 5.1.1 base because it is ported from galaxy s5 mini where it doesn't support multi window and here you have the my files option here you have it and uh, what to say here you have a clock this is the alarm this is a valve clock where you can read uh, stopwatch timer everything is good here you have the s6 voice recorder and let me go to this here you have flipboard briefing if you swipe from left you will get flipboard briefing but i don't know how to use it so i'm gonna disable it here you have home screen settings and then uh, you can manage your screen grids also then after that uh, no bugs i have encountered only the air command there is a bug and uh, message receiving bug is uh, my big bug then uh, here is the stock gallery stock gallery of s6 and here you can see the recent apps it's like lollipop yes because lollipop 
then uh, that's all for the review do like do subscribe thank you guys take care bye